On August 1st, 45 St. Louis high school students living in a failing urban school district called Normandy opted to attend Francis Howell High School, which is a suburban school 20 miles away. Today is transition day. This is the day when all of the freshmen right here come and become acclimated to our wonderful school, Francis Howell High School. Well, on top of all the freshmen coming, we're also having many of the upperclassmen from Normandy coming. So I think we're going to try a little bit harder to uh, especially include them. We will have 45 students assigned to us and we have gone through an enrollment process over the weekend and we hope to have all of them here with us on Thursday. The student body that I've talked to, which are more than just my friends, really, they seem pretty excited about it because like, we'll get to meet new kids. In June, the Missouri Supreme Court upheld a 1993 state law that gives students living in unaccredited school districts the option to transfer to neighboring districts, and the failing districts must pay for the students' tuition costs. In St. Louis, there are two unaccredited school districts, Normandy and Riverview Gardens. By the August 1st enrollment deadline, 2,640 students had decided to leave those districts. That's 25% of their student populations. Well, we're confident that we'll be able to pay our bills this year. It'll be close, uh, considering the number of students. I also, in my heart, believe there will be a number of students who will come back. We know right now that it's about $15 million out of our $50 million budget. What we've been hearing about are several school districts, like Melville and Kirkwood, are putting limitations on the number of students that they are accepting into the district. In my opinion, school districts that choose to limit the number of students that are allowed to transfer under 167, 131 are in fact in violation of the Missouri state law. What's hurting us uh, is the tuition rate. It's not the transportation. Normandy and Riverview must also pay for transportation to at least one accredited school district. They did not have to request the permission from the districts they chose to provide transportation to. When Normandy announced it would bus its students to Francis Howe schools, many in the suburban community were outraged. In fact, Francis Howe parents' irate comments about Normandy students being dangerous made national news. And I, and I think the concerns that they expressed were somewhat normal. Given that it's an unknown situation, there can be fear about what's it going to be like and what are the answers. I do understand the concerns, but honestly, we heard the things about gangs and we don't want gangsters out here, but we have gangs everywhere in everybody's culture. And it's not, um, oh, they're from the city, it's going to be a problem. Uh, we have problems everywhere. If we work together, this thing can really work. Eric Lee, our student class president, has made an effort both privately and publicly to reach out to the students and say, we want you to come to our school. We want you to join our experience and enhance the culture that we have here at our school.